everybody, I'm Terry Windsor, and welcome to Info to Know. Well, we've got some unusual behavior going on just north of the Cascadia subduction zone that I think is worth taking a look at. Okay, so when I say unusual behavior, I'm not kidding. Now, what we are looking at here is the Cascadia subduction zone. This is the northern tip in, off the Vancouver Island area. Right here is Queen Charlotte Island. Up here is the Alaska Panhandle. And then over here is Alberta. What we are interested in mainly is Queen Charlotte Island. So I'm going to puff that up. There we go. As you can see, there are a ton of earthquakes along the plate boundary of the Queen Charlotte Island. This is for the month of June. Lots and lots of earthquakes. Many times there are more earthquakes in the Queen Charlotte Island area than there are in Cascadia, but no matter what, the earthquakes that happen here put strain on the Cascadia subduction zone. Now, if we go to July, we have the very same thing. Lots of earthquakes here. And of course, there's quite a few here too. It's been quite busy here. Now we are in August, and you can see lots of earthquakes yet again. Ah, we finally get to September. Now I do want to point out that in the last two weeks of September, uh, actually the 14th and the 17th, we had two events in the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, on the 14th, we had 12 magnitude 3s and 5 magnitude fours, and then some twos, of course, as well. On the 17th, we had 19 magnitude threes, four magnitude fours, and a magnitude 5.4 in the Cascadia, right in the northern tip right here. But now that you've seen a pattern of what goes on in Queen Charlotte's Island, I'm going to break it down in the last four weeks and show you what is not normal. Now, I'm using Volcano Discovery for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you're viewing it on your cell phone, it's much easier to see the earthquake activity than using NR Canada site. However, NR Canada, I did cross-reference all the earthquakes to make sure that they were all the same on both lists. NR Canada is incredibly difficult to use because you have to repeat every single step. Whereas in Volcano Discovery, you don't. You can just change the date and not have to mess with the place marker and the radius every time. Anyways, that being said, we are in the first week of September. And this is Queen Charlotte Island. And there is easily over 20 earthquakes here. We go to the second week of September. Same thing, over 20 earthquakes here. Third week of September. Same thing, over 20 earthquakes here. And actually, I can even magnify it so you guys, well, that might be too much. Okay, there's more than 20 here. And on the last week of September, where we are now, two. Two. One, two. Not 20, not 25, because the average per week over the past three months has been 30 earthquakes per week. And we have... Two, where are all the earthquakes? Where is the earthquake activity that so heavily hits Queen Charlotte Island? Where did it go? I don't know, but it's concerning because after the second uh, event of earthquakes in the Cascadia subduction zone on the 17th, the second one, because we had one on the 14th and one on the 17th, after the 17th, Queen Charlotte Island has gone quiet. Quiet. This should never be like this. Something is definitely causing Queen Charlotte Islands to be quiet like this. And although it's not part of the Cascadia subduction zone, I do believe that the earthquake activity that occurred in the Cascadia and this quiet are definitely related somehow. Now, a lot of times before a large earthquake, you'll get a lot of threes and fours like we saw in the Cascade, and even fives before a very large quake. So if you guys live anywhere in Queen Charlotte Island or the Cascadia subduction zone, you guys need to be on guard and prepared. 
uh, Queen Charlotte Island has had its own share of large earthquakes. It had a 8.1 back in 1949, and it had a 7.7, which was fairly damaging in 2012. Actually, that's when a lot of people were thinking that maybe they should have kept Queen Charlotte Island as part of Cascadia. Anyways, it does remain to be seen what will occur. Hopefully, this is the end of it and not the sign of the big one. But again, please, you guys, be prepared for everything. Anyways, that's it for right now. Thank you so much. This is Terry Windsor signing out.